Sophomore out of Benton, Texas, out of the gun. He has Desmond Jackson in the backfield. He wants to throw again. He was trying to set up the screen. He's good on his feet, and he finds some room and gets the ball downfield to Dylan Stoner, snaking his way to the end zone. And how about that big strike? On the second play, Oklahoma State is on the board. It's a Stoner touchdown. Unbelievable job with Spencer Sanders keeping the play alive. It was supposed to be a screen to the opposite side, but he uses legs, throws off the run, and finds Dylan Stoner wide open, who's now become the outside receiver. Better running quarterbacks Mike Gundy's had. TCU put a spy on him last week and had quite a bit of success doing it. Let's see what kind of adjustments Baylor makes as they're going to have the football for the first time. This is a great return for Treston Ebner. He has a couple of kickoff return touchdowns for the Bears, and they're on the plus side of the field of 47. Partner for a game that was in question of even playing about a day ago. It's already had some fireworks. This is fun stuff. Look at Treston Ebner dealing with a high ankle sprain, takes the kickoff, and... For a quarterback, he's taken virtually every snap this year. It's been a frustrating year for... This quarterback, too, and you can see that he takes a lot of punishment. Thrown down to the turf at the 45. That's going to be a loss of seven. Incredible get off off the line of scrimmage. That's what did it right there. The ball snap, boom. Kalen Barnes, a starter, and his backup, Mark Milton, are both out. Sanders goes to the outside. He's going to hit Tay Martin. Quiet year for the transfer from Washington State. He's going to send three receivers to the top. Rolling out pressure and now he's going to tuck and run and he's going to get the first down <laughs> Tay Martin was a regular in Mike Leach's offense at Wazoo that's intercepted Sanders is picked off by Christian Morgan who has had an interception in three straight weeks now so Jalen Petrie with a little bit of pressure Gets in at the feet of Spencer. Sanders didn't look like he could really step into that football. And then just a nice juggle. You'll see the pressure come from his right. His little bit has to step back. Maybe again, just can't really just drive into that throw the way he wanted. He puts it up for grabs. Well, I tell you, Christian Morgan is on fire right now. The referee stuffs a towel in the tuba. <laughs> Here's a throw deep downfield for Sanders looking for Stoner again. There's plenty of contact. Yeah, and Laundry comes out. But how about that catch in spite of the contact for Dylan Stoner? It's eight yards of that route and still finds a way to come down with it. Moonshot drops it in the bucket. Dylan Stoner's one of those guys. I don't know why he runs a 40 in. Averaging 28 points per game. They haven't averaged less than 30 since 2014. Not as explosive as they've been. But they're going to go to Stoner in the end zone, and he's got a second touchdown catch. Boy, Dylan Stoner is making an impact on this game and making it early. This cover guy right now for Baylor goes up and gets it, concentration, and then fights for it. Pick the finish last in the conference, and what a season. Off the play fake, Sanders has a couple of touchdown throws to Stoner. He's got him again, and he shakes loose. How about it? Yes, touchdown, Stoner. He's got the hat trick here in the first half. He comes from the opposite side of field, a long drag route across, and they're just losing, Clay. And I don't know how you lose a guy that's had 133 yards and two touchdowns. Just kind of slow plays it. And then goes all the way across those Raleigh to Hodder. Just could not make up the ground to get to Dylan Stoner. College football playoff aspirations. Big hole, Desmond Jackson picks up the first down. LSU today, they want to really just put that one away with authority, but back to this action. Desmond Jackson, we talked about it. Here's Sanders, stays clean in the pocket. They're picking on that corner again. And that's another catch for Landon Wolf. There's no tight covers on the back end, and there's no real pressure on Spencer Sanders. I've seen a lot of people having a problem with it, especially if you're an Indiana fan. There's a big hole up the middle, and Richardson's going to take it in. The true freshman with his first career touchdown run. He's been running over people. He's been looking, just coming downhill, the speed, and boom. And the running back room is... Hardly what it was at the beginning of the year. So many injuries. And now Brewer is going to be sacked. 
Swung down at the 35 by Brock Martin. Up the middle here. And then just a little stunt. Brock Martin comes around. Here's Richardson, the freshman, already has a touchdown today. And that is a great run on first down. Give him 11. And look, it's going to start this way, but he just knows when to bend it back. Okay, that, that's zone running is an art. Skill sets just not playing with their strengths. Here comes the pressure. Petrie runs down Sanders for the sack on first down. There he is right there, a little delay, and then boom, then he puts the foot in the ground and goes. He just gets underneath the tackle, and it looked like, excuse me, that was a tight end. It was going on a delay, but you see the speed. Spencer Sanders wanted to come back. Number seven in the college football playoff rankings, jumped ahead of Cincinnati this past week. Boy, Sanders goes down, crumpled at the 40-yard line. There's number eight again. Jalen Petrie. Drop back, nowhere to go with the ball, and then you just see the closing speed by Jalen Petrie. Richardson will try the right side, find some leverage. Look out. Here goes Dominic Richardson down the sideline. Big play for the Cowboys inside the 25 to the 21. What are you going to do? Are you going to cut it back? Are you going to bounce it? Yeah, he said, I'm going to bounce it. And then look at the speed. Running away from the linebacker down the sideline. Dominic Richardson today, Clay. Ball back to the offense that can't punch it in. He's going to go to the end zone. Looking for Martin. A battle. Who's got it? I think Zeke Brown might have come down with this ball. We'll see. It's like a WWE match. Kalen Barnes is out. Got his master's degree this week in engineering. And has his first. Showing pressure here. Second and ten. Sanders pumps. Wants to go deep. Has a man. There's Stoner. He got another one. <laughs> Good night. Another big play. Sanders to Stoner. Six for 180 in the first half. Three touchdowns. Let's just throw it up to number 17 again. See if he comes down with it. Just judges the ball and then. He makes contested catches. I mean, there's look, there's two Baylor Bears around him. Just had to take snaps. That's true. From center. Good call. There you go. Run it. Richardson banging off of tacklers, and he finds Pater. Two touchdown day for the rookie out of Oklahoma City. Play with next year, obviously Chuba Hubbard is moving on. So who's going to take that role? I think Dominic, Dominic Richardson has said. He's trying to get the first down here. Needs the 38-yard line. He is not going to. Get a pass off. He is swung down by Calvin Bundage, the team leader in sack. He just comes off the left side. Just a speed move. Goes right around Blake Bettier. One thing about the COVID era, it's easy to park around the stadium. <laughs> and easy to get out. <laughs> There's McWilliams. Good run inside the 40. And also had the game winner to beat Kansas State a couple of weeks ago. And how about that? Mayers gets Baylor off the schneid. We had that, that earlier update, and it's how oh, Troy's going to get him to turn around, and they've gone down and scored. Look at this. Look at Richardson down the sideline to the 31-yard line. Zone run to the outside. Patience, patience. Then let's stick it up in there, then go. That's what you got to do. Second and goal. Richardson easy that time, basically untouched. Dominic Richardson with his third touchdown. Line, pull him around, and then it's just all Richardson in for the touchdown. Just a couple of minutes left. Oklahoma State trying to run this one out. And Micah Cooper is going to get a carry, the fourth string running it back today. 42 to 3, a game that we didn't think would be played on Thursday because of COVID and injuries. It gets played, and it's all Oklahoma State. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN.